M0FXB welcome back to my videos learning the DSP2 SDR receiver that you can see there. In M0CAD has pointed out that you can control this radio and interact with other software using the DX Lab software that you've got here. So I'll provide the link in the description, just download it. And you end up with this window here. The board rate that he has recommended is actually 57600 and you select the radio Kenwood. So in config here, um, why not let me show it when it's connected. Let's uh, just change some frequencies here and then we'll see it change. So we just see that one there and we'll click the one and then we'll go. You can see that the device is changing frequency. That's live. And then we can change mode, USB, FM, AM. Let's try typing a frequency. 850, see if that works. Uh, hopefully that's air band, unless there's too many noughts. Uh, actually, we do want AM. We need a decent antenna. Now, I will warn you that on certain bands, because this is connected via USB cable to, my, to a PC, that you do really need to have um, screening, because my USB just wipes out the signal, which is such a shame. Uh, it's worth, worse on HF. But give it a go. The other program that Ian talked about is Multi PSK as a Facebook group here. So I'm going to have a good look at that and learn about that. So there's Multi PSK there on the left. I have run it, but I'm, I need to learn it. But I'll just click and open it here just for fun and just see what it does. So here's what it looks like. So I've, I've, I've never used it. I'm not even going to try now. Uh, just look, port number. I'll watch some videos and then I'll I'll configure it. But the main thing is you can see that you can control the DSP2. You can connect it to WJSTX. I've done that before and it will actually change the frequency and everything. Bye for now.